I can easily say I am addicted to sense of meaning, sense of purpose, being driven towards a goal I really believe in. When I was broke, I really believed in money. If I earn a lot of money, my life will change significantly. And to a large extent, it is true. But now, I have a lot of money. Right now, I could take my whole family, fly to Norway, and have a beer to share. So, while I'm still economically sharp, money is no longer a goal I really believe in. When I was not happy with my body, I really believed in lifting and dieting. Until I reached, at least once, a point where I was happy with my physique. I mentally masturbated to the story of me going through the hardships of lifting weights and counting calories and not caring about haters and being aware of the whole picture, this movie was over also. There are multiple examples of this. When I wanted to have a girlfriend, I was driven to overcome my fears, approach women on the streets of the world and click so many buttons on Tinder to find the right one. This has been a great source of personal development and the sense of purpose felt great. But once I get what I want, this sense of meaning is gone. I I, I, I suffer from depression. I have done my whole life. I've I've been suicidal on and off for the last sort of 10 years. If you are addicted to alcohol and really want to get sober, there is potentially a great sense of meaning and purpose in going to rehab, therapy and reinventing yourself. But after a while, boredom and routine kills this drive. We look for something else, something that brings back the sense of meaning we got addicted to in the first place. If you're lucky, you'll get in love with some music, crossfit, making YouTube videos or charity work. If you're less lucky, you'll switch between more problematic activities and you will keep jumping from one addiction to another. The biggest challenge, I believe, is when you cannot find anything. Everything seems meaningless. You cannot go back. You cannot trick yourself into believing that another million bucks, a new girlfriend, a better job or another beer in Norway are so important that you will be driven to pursue them. I believe this is the ultimate challenge I have faced in my life. I feel I succeeded mostly by questioning this whole idea of meaning and purpose. Let me tell you a little secret. If I didn't get my money, my girlfriend, my beer in Norway, the world would be fine. If you, after listening to this, watch some porn, eat some pizza, complain about politics to your friends that you don't even like, the world will be fine. We exaggerate the meaning. The meaning is just some concept, some word, our silly justification for our actions, so we can keep living our delusional lives. Does it mean that it doesn't mean anything? No. It all means something, just not as much as if we wanted it to. If I make this video and you watch it, it will probably mean that you will have some thoughts, they will affect your actions. It doesn't mean I am a terrible person or a superhero. It may mean to you, but that's just just like like, your uh, opinion, man. man. I am still going to seek for activities where I am fully engaged, fully present, where I do occasionally feel a sense of meaning, a sense of purpose. We're all addicted to this. That's just how our brain works. But if I don't value the concept of meaning as some objective truth, if I don't feel entitled to the meaning of my life or my actions, I deserve the meaning. I deserve the purpose. If I see it's just a concept, just a word, then a temporary absence of it cannot cause a lot of suffering. When I am present enough to experience a sense of meaning, that's great. I want to enjoy that. But I don't want to get caught up in it and create a toxic attachment to it. When a sense of meaning seems unavailable, I can easily question the basis for my craving. The meaning was never here. There were just some stories that felt like it's meaningful what I do. Each meaningful experience was a unique one. So the core problem is that we suffer from the lack of something that doesn't even exist. You want meaning? Which one? Which one? The one you felt 10 years ago or the one you felt yesterday? It doesn't really matter because they have already been experienced by you and by law of nature, they're gone. You gonna stand there crying that back in the day shit. Jeez. There ain't no back in the day, nigga. 
Ain't no nostalgia to this shit here. It's just the street and the game and what happened here today. So for me, the most meaningful activity is not gambling, personal development or making YouTube videos. Not even caring about people I love. For me, it is an act of accepting what is happening right now. If I feel driven, happy, peaceful, I appreciate every little molecule in my brain. If I feel everything is meaningless, I accept that feeling. The acceptance is always in my pocket. And the meaning of that is that the peace of mind is always available to me.